Elliot, well done. A 4-3 victory over Jack Lazowski there. Just give us your thoughts on the match. Relief. <laughs> um, that, that's, that's the main one, relief. Um, as I say, there were some good parts in the middle of the game and then towards the end, I was just, I think the pair were absolutely gone. Chance after chance, we couldn't take them. So I'm just delighted to get through. Relief because it felt like Jack had a little bit of luck on his side at some point in that match and you thought, well, it could be his day? A, a little bit. It's, it's one of them. The, the luck doesn't play its part if you feel you're playing really well. And in the middle part of the match, I was kind of playing like that. But when you're struggling on, you need every little bit to help you. And I felt it was favouring him. Um, but as I say, I should have took my chances. Miles before that, I should have won, what was it, 4-2 and I didn't take my chances. So if I didn't take them all, I only had myself to blame. Like. Breaks are 1999 in there as well. One of them you tried to, to slam in the black and you were laughing with the crowd. Is that just because you just want to try and entertain them and get them off their seat a bit? Kind of. Like I'm obviously not the most entertaining style to play. I'm not running around at 15 seconds a shot or the most naturally gifted player. So if I can flick a couple and hammer a few around, I've got quite a bit of Q power. So if I can hit a few hard and put them in, maybe entertain them. How do you feel your, your game's at? You said you were playing well today. You mm. failed to qualify for the British, but both Chinese events you, you, you're in. How, where do you feel your, your game is at at the minute? The only one I hadn't qualified for was the, the British, and I lost yeah. to the, the Chinese player that was a uh, he, Go Kwan, mm. I think it was. And obviously, he's absolutely flying up the rung and just caught, got the quarters there. Um, it's a funny one. I, str I struggled at the start of the season and then changed a couple of things and started to play some good stuff. This tournament, before this tournament, I was in the ball quite nicely, but just struggled. The first game, I really struggled, and then, but there was parts in there what was good. If I can take the good parts and cut out the other bits, I should be alright. Like, how do you sort of view the Chinese events? See, we've had the Shanghai Masters already, that's for the invitational event, but for a ranking event now to get back out there, you must be really looking forward huge, to it. Huge, massive, obviously, financially, it's huge. Tread very well out there. Um, I'm, I'm delighted, as I say. You hear a couple of people saying, oh, well, we've got to fly from here to fly to there. It's a good problem to have. Like When you've got a mortgage and kids to feed, you, you want to be busy. It means you're earning money. So you'll get no complaints about me about being busy. Busier the better, please. So that's something you, you relish, that, 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 that schedule, being busy, being active, and getting out there and trying to win matches. And I suppose if you're winning matches and you're having these problems, it's, it's a good thing, isn't it? As, as I say, be, before COVID, it, it was so busy. and. I think that's the way it realistically should be. It should be a global tour flying from here to then potentially trying to change your life in a week's play, do you know what I mean? Um, as I say, it might some of the other lads it mightn't be great, the top lads, because they're flying from here to then running deep in every comp, but they're at the point where they can take events off. When you're down like where I'm ranked, you you're not in the position to be able to do that, like. And that there is that that side of it as well, because of, of where you are in the rankings, perhaps mm. maybe not now, but maybe towards the end of the season, might be looking over your shoulder a little bit. So therefore, you actually do want to go to these events and, and make sure you're winning matches as well and, and go far. Yeah, as I say, it, it's just horrible when you're sat at home watching an event be on and you lost in the qualifiers. So, especially the Chinese ones, because they're huge prize money and we haven't been there for, well, obviously since COVID. So it'd be nice to get out to the first event and uh, try and get me teeth back in jet lag. <laughs> Busy schedule as well yeah. means you have to leave the family behind. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, that must must be tough to do. You've got Wuhan, Northern Ireland Open coming up as well, back out to, to China in November. So it's it's busy. That must be must be hard to to leave the family behind. Yeah, it's, it's tough. I've got a little three year old daughter, and she knew I was coming to London before, and she doesn't know I'm going to China. I dare not <laughs> tell her, because she's already missing us from London. It, it isn't nice, but they understand why I do it. My wife as well. They understand that I do it for them and for Ali's future. It's not just entirely for, for a laugh of flying here, there and everywhere. It's tough to keep up with the football as well, I imagine. But you'll be watching tonight, Newcastle against PSG. First game back at St James's Park in the Champions League for some time. Yeah, massive, massive. As I say, as soon as I'm finished here, I'm going to dive in the shower, find a pub somewhere in London, plead with them to try and get it on. <laughs> well, fingers crossed, hopefully <laughs> you win that one. And just lastly, back to snooker, yeah. Jang Ander up next. Similar sort of ranking, so do you view that as a real chance to get into the, the last 16? No, I'm too, far too experienced to kind of think like that. I've been around a long time. It's so as Zanganda, he's been the Crucible three times. I think the rankings these days realistically don't really matter too much because the money's constantly coming on, taking off and stuff like that. Like The standard's so high, Like look at that, how, how many people would add on a bet and slip for maybe Jack Lazowski today? 
not many at all, but if you follow the game, people know I can play a little bit and would have had a sniff. So, nah, I, I never even bother looking at the draws. It's, it's absolutely pointless. As I say, anybody can beat anybody. And if you don't turn up and play well, there's a great chance you're going to get beat. Well, well done, well done on the win. Hopefully it's two wins for, for you today and Newcastle can get the job Fingers done. Fingers crossed. Thank you.